Margie in Bull Creek is standing her ground for what little remains of the Skull Valley Goshoot Reservation. I was five years old when we first moved here. There was five of us. And my, when we first got here, my, my father built a home. It was one room. Her tribe's land once spread east from Salt Lake City to Elko, Nevada. Now it's just two square miles, surrounded by hazardous areas like the Dugway Proving Grounds, the Deseret Chemical Depot, and an Air Force bombing range. Although we're surrounded by these um, areas, our reservation means a lot to us because it's our home and it's part of who we are as Native Americans and all the things that we believe in. It's our indigenous land and it's just something that can't be taken from us and that's what's happening. John Parkin of Private Fuel Storage has made a pact with the Goshutes to store 40,000 tons of nuclear fuel for 20 years on 840 acres of their land. Marjean and others in her small tribe are fighting the plan. She says the agreement was worked out with only three members of the tribal council, that details were kept secret, and her people are being endangered and exploited. We didn't have that, uh, that opportunity to be able to view whatever resolutions there are to to, to pass. It was something that was brought out and put on the table and say sign it. The terms of the contract uh, have not been kept secret from the Goshu people as I've spoken at three of their general council meetings which are open to all members of the tribe. This site's going to be like two miles down from where I'm sitting now and there's going to be an invisible wall there and, and nobody on, on, in the village is going to know what's going on because we're not going to be told if, if anything happens. Something very deadly happened on the Goshute Reservation in 1968. Nerve gas spilled by the Air Force killed 6,000 sheep. Her father's herd was destroyed. He didn't know what happened uh, when, he, when he looked and tended his sheep. The sheep were, were um, acting strangely. They were um, rolling around and, and um, something was bothering them, something was making them um, they were dying. Private fuel storage assures that nuclear waste will be stored safely, but experience has taught Marjean otherwise. She fears a nuclear spill will happen this time and is convinced that PFS won't be able to handle emergency response if things go wrong. And with Nevada's Yucca Mountain in limbo, she also worries that temporary storage could become permanent. Most of the tr tribes were wise enough to turn it down. They didn't want to have anything to do with it. But, but our counsel and our attorney um, back then wanted to bring money into the tribe and they thought this was, uh, will bring in a lot of money for us. There are few opportunities for the Goshoot and others in this sparsely populated area of the state. Tribal leaders agreed to the plan to create jobs and economic growth for their people. They say Native American people are, you know, are the people of the land, but if you don't utilize the land, you don't take care of the land, then what's the land going to do for you? What are you going to do with a reservation that's contaminated? What are you going to do with a reservation when your people are dying, when your relatives, when your children, your grandchildren are, are sick with cancer? As a Native American, you know, we, we do live two lives. You know, we have to live our Native American life and we have to live the Anglo life. And uh, we, if we don't live with both of them, we're going to be lost. But Marjean says they could lose everything, that the price her people are paying is much too high. What I'm saying is environmental injustice. They have a large corporation coming down on their small, um, unique, traditional band of Goshutes. And they're, and they're promising us money and, and what we have isn't worth all that money, especially if it leads to um, relocation and destruction and sickness. It's for the, our future children. It's for our future that there may be something there for them.